A coach for a midget lacrosse team from Innisville, Ontario, has been charged with assault after a ref was left bloodied and with cuts to his face that sent him to hospital. It's an incident that has stunned the Association for Lacrosse Referees, who posted pictures of the ref's injuries on social media. They're not nice to look at. The referee is, uh, is doing as well as can be expected. Um, he, he did stay in hospital overnight. Uh, because of his injuries. Gord Brown wasn't even refing the game at the Invitational Tournament in Aurelia on Friday night. But after a coach from the Ennisville team was ejected for verbally abusing the on-floor officials, Brown followed the 47-year-old man to the dressing room to make sure he was going to leave the building. It was in a hallway where the alleged attack took place. It's never acceptable for someone to, to assault another person, but it's, it's particularly disheartening when it happens um, when an adult does it, and particularly one who is uh, a coach and is supposed to be leading our youth. Apparently, during Friday night's game between the two out-of-town teams at Rotary Place, fights broke out and several players had to be removed. That's when tempers flared. The Aurelia OPP detachment confirms that Dwayne Palamaki, a trainer for the Innisfil team, has been charged with assault causing bodily harm. It's very upsetting for the entire referee community. It seems to us, at least, that um, instances uh, of abuse, either verbal or physical, have been increasing over the last couple of years. And for those that are that are in the lacrosse community, which is a very tight knit community, it's uh, it's definitely disheartening for everyone. Hubbard says the officials association feels more can be done to deter violence in the sport. Palamaki is expected to in appear in court next month.